Hello again, VC. Dan here, Vinyl Fury, for another Vinyl Update video. Um, so I've gotten a few more records uh, post Record Store Day. Um, a couple days after, I went back to Second Avenue uh, just to see what was left over and poke around. And uh, I didn't get a chance to do any kind of um, record digging beyond the Record Store Day selection. It was just too crowded and wanted to get my stuff and go. So I went back to do some exterior browsing and uh, picked up some things that I've been wanting to get for a while. So, um, First off, I do already have a copy of this, but um, the one that I bought uh, originally, one side was a little off-center and I could, I could hear it and, it and it bothered me. So when I saw this, I just figured I'd, I'd give this a shot, see if it was any better. Uh, this is At The Drive-In, the uh, VIA EP from 1998. This one is on white vinyl. It's a 10 inch record, seven songs. And um, I was going to sell my, uh, my other pressing that I got when this reissue came out. Uh, this is on pink vinyl and limited to 3,000 copies. So I figured I could sell it uh, to pay for the at least the, the purchase price of this one because I listened to this new copy and, and it was uh, sounded great and there was no flaws. But then I, I looked closer and I realized that this is an entirely different pressing. Um, the original has a hand written dead wax. Uh, this one has the I, would, I call it. I would call it a digital stamp, uh, like a computerized. And usually, I associate that with Pirates Press. I don't know if they did this or not, but um, I don't know of any other pressing plants that have that that kind of dead wax. But as you can probably see, the covers look a lot different too. This one's much lighter in color. Um, Especially on the back. Uh, this one has a smoother cover. This one's a little glossier. So I figured since they were so different, I would just keep both. So now I have two copies of this. Um, a record that I, I don't know why it's taken me so long to get, but uh, thankfully there was still a copy at the record store. And this is uh, Tom York, The Eraser, from 2006. And of course Tom York is the vocalist of Radiohead, and this sounds a lot like Radiohead. In fact, as I was listening to it, and I haven't listened to it for a while, I was reminded, oh yeah, this song isn't a Radiohead song, it's a Tom York song. And um, if you remember the uh, artwork of the Adams for Peace record. This uh, this art motif is very similar to what was used for that. So, I mean, Adams for Peace is basically Tom York's band, so it's kind of a the successor to this album. And I like this a lot more than I remember. Actually, um, some really great songs on here. And I don't know if I mentioned actually that I got the. Uh, Flapless Blake sleeves. I've had these, um, I don't know, probably a couple months now. And for the most part, I like them. Um, some albums uh, don't fit in very easily, but on, on most, they fit in quite nice and they're still very, very clear. Um, my preference would be just a little more lip on top, especially for the the uh, thicker albums because some of them leave nearly nothing on top if you put them in that way um, but uh, gotta love the Blake sleeves and I was just kind of getting tired of the peeling the flap back and forth um, they're definitely great sleeves and um, for those who prefer them they're excellent I decided to give these a try um, yeah, just wanted to share that. Um, another one to cross off the list and really complete the Fugazi collection. This is Instrument, the uh, soundtrack 
to the documentary from 1999. Mostly instrumental music, uh, demos and such, but uh, very inexpensive, just like all of the Discord reissues are, and uh, I enjoyed it, so happy to get this one. Uh, I also saw one of the Miles Davis reissues from Record Store Day. Was left over, so I decided to give it a shot. Uh, this is Someday My Prince Will Come uh, from 1961 originally. And this is a mono reissue uh, for Record Store Day on Black Friday. They released three titles uh, in mono and they did three more for this year's Record Store Day. And um, there's been a lot of uh, positive feedback on the quality of these, they sound really good. Um, I actually read some comments that said that they thought these mono reissues were better than the original Six Eyes, which I don't even know how that's possible, but that says a lot about about the sound quality. I believe they were mastered by Kevin Gray, who was a well-regarded name in, uh, in the industry. And these are all numbered. This one's 1233, and they were listed as limited to 3,000 on the record store list but there are at least 4,000 because I saw numbered copies very close, they were like 3,990 something so I'm not exactly sure how many were released on Record Store Day but regardless they're supposed to be re-released uh, in June these are just Record Store Day first releases so I really enjoyed this album and the sound of it so um, a couple days later, I went back and got the other two that were released. Um, this one is Milestones. This is from 58. This is copy 2365. Really enjoyed this. You got uh, Cannibal Adderley and John Coltrane. Paul Chambers on there. Fantastic. And uh, also Round About Midnight which I believe was the first album on Columbia. Yeah. And uh, John Coltrane's also on here. Uh, really great record. And this one's number 1150. So these reissues are really great. So if you were on the fence about the mono versions, uh, go ahead. They're, they're pretty awesome. All right, so that's it for this one. Just wanted to show you what I've gotten post record store day. I don't know when the next vinyl update is going to be. Um, I do have some pre orders on the way, but I don't think they're coming anytime real soon. And I'm supposed to be moving within the, uh, the next month, so gotta save the dough for that. Um, so I'll be in a new space, and hopefully, there's enough room for me and my stuff. Uh, so looking forward to that, looking forward to a change. Um, but I also just wanted to. Uh, recognize that I recently just hit 800 subscriptions to the channel, which I am uh, very thankful for, uh, very humbled by. Uh, it's, uh, it's pretty nuts. And um, I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for, uh, thank you for letting me be a part of this and, and share with you. Uh, I also wanted to do a, a shout out. There's a new channel to check out. Uh, it's called Now Spinning. Uh, I believe his name is Peter. Uh, he and I have been uh, following each other on Instagram and uh, sharing comments back and forth. And he does uh, a lot of interviews with uh, record store people, uh, bands, label people. And uh, he's got a really cool uh, Tumblr blog, an Instagram, and now a YouTube channel which I encourage you to check out and follow. Uh, he's doing some cool stuff. So, thank you for watching. Uh, take care and enjoy your music.